What is up, everybody? I'm back. Tonight, I wanted to do a fun special video. Stay tuned. Intro, roll it. Oh, yeah, I don't have an intro yet. But if there was an intro, I'd be playing right now and it'd be sick. But I don't. So, just jump right <laughs> into things. I wanted to talk about tonight something that's a little, little unique, a little different. It's a spiritual concept, and it is uh, the breaker anointing, uh, the power of breakthrough prayer. And um, I'm going to be looking into Micah 2.13 as the primary verse. There's, you can also talk about Isaiah 62, Luke 18, uh, many other verses that talks about persistence in prayer and praying until. Pray until. Don't just pray once or twice or just pray, you know, and believe and just that's it. And just keep believing, but pray until. The parable of Luke 18 of, or the story of the widow and the unjust judge. The widow kept going and going and going for justice that the unjust judge would avenge her in Luke 18. And he kept saying no, but she kept going. She kept, she had to do her part. She had to keep going and going and going. And finally, he avenged her. Not because he was to just judge her, to give her justice. He avenged her because of her persistence. And then it says, Shall God not avenge his own elect to cry out to him day and night? Though he bears long with them, I tell you, he will avenge them speedily. He will avenge you if you keep crying out to him, if you persevere in prayer. Breakthrough in prayer will come if you keep praying and breaking through. Sometimes there's got to be that persistence and that fire and that holy passion and that holy fire inside of you to keep pressing and breaking through. Because I'm, I, I see myself as kind of a more. I mean, I've been most most of my videos. Let's just say that and say it this way: have been about Song of Solomon. I've been about resting in God, receiving His love, understanding His love, understanding who He is, seeing Him in this way, encountering Jesus as bridegroom and King and Judge. And then there's also a part of me and by the grace of God, all of this, where I there's times where I have to persevere in prayer. I gotta ask God for breakthrough. I have to keep praying and praying and praying and praying until, until. You pray until. You just keep praying until that happens, until your answer comes, until something comes, until there is breakthrough, until there is um, what you're praying for happens. Or God speaks to you clearly. And that's what it's all about. Intimacy with him closeness and proximity with him and that's the whole point of the parable is um that god will avenge them speedily nevertheless it says when he will he find faith on the earth when he returns will there be faith i love what peter says about faith that though we do not see jesus we love him though we do not see him right now with our natural eyes we believe that we that god will find faith on the earth and find people of faith and praying and persevering prayer and breaker anointing prayer so that when he comes back, there will be people praying. And there will be people saying, I know there's more, God. I know there's more, and it's you and your kingdom openly here for, for me to see and experience in real ways. That's Luke 18, the breaker anointing out of Micah 2, 13. The one who breaks open will come before them. They will break out, pass through the gate, and go out by it. Their king will pass before them with the Lord at their head. The one who breaks open will come up before them. They will break out, pass through the gate, and go out by it. it in this whole chapter of the book of Micah, there's judgment on Israel and Judah. And God is releasing a prophetic word saying, Hear all you peoples. Give ear and listen because God is holy and in his holy temple and he's coming, he's coming out of his place to come down and give us judgment. And then very quickly in this book, he quickly realizes, oh, even though God has arisen from his holy temple, even though God is coming out and even though there is impending judgment, there is one who's going to break open, break out, and they'll pass through the gate and the Lord will be their head. And that... That is the breaker anointing. When you realize and you have a little bit of understanding from the voice of God and the word of God, that you can just realize, wait a sec, 
even if there is impending judgment or some bad things happening or I'm in a tough season or the tough things are happening to me, not woe is me right now. Now I'm not trying to toot my own horn. Or not whatever. Just be like a little down or whatever. But my toe has been really hurt for like the past 10 days. Like bad. Like I dropped. I was helping Dave um, uh, upstairs who owns this house. Uh, and he was um, in his horse trailer because they have horses. And there was a swing door. And it weighs like a ton. <laughs> and it was it broke off, so he's rewelding it and needed help lifting it back up. I helped him. Well, that that ton, that steel door fell on my toe, and it's been bad ever since. Like I can barely walk. I've been trying to work and stuff. So it's been like it's been a hard couple days. It's been a hard week. Um, but I just feel, even though it's hard, and that's just one thing. There's many stuff going on, all kinds of stuff going on. We um, are kind of in this enemy trying to steal our joy. Not now, not today, Satan, get behind me type of thing because there's just attacks left and right for me and Gracie. And and this is the time where I'm going, God, I got to break out. I got to break through and pass through the gate with the Lord at my head and the king right next to me because there is a there is something bigger than me and my little story that's going on. There's something bigger that I can't see and comprehend right now, but I know if I persevere, if I ask, seek, and knock, the door will be open. You will come and give to me and you will answer. That's who you are. You're a good father. Luke 11, he doesn't give scorpions when you ask him for fish. He's a good father. He's a good father. He will give you a dad. will give him some food when your son asks for food or daughter asks for food. And that's who God is. And that is the beginning of persevering prayers, understanding who God is. That's the very beginning. Understanding his nature and character as a father. And then from there, you encounter him and realize, okay, there's more for me. I want. I just got to ask and not quit. Persevere in it. That's a quick snippet on breakthrough prayer because it's real. And I just feel fire, holy fire and holy passion. Sometimes there's got to be holy fire and holy passion and holy desire and holy breakthrough prayer and persevering prayer for you to push through, break through to the next season, to the ne whatever's happening in your life. That you would break through and realize, you know what? I'm not going to quit. I'm going to keep praying and praying and praying and ask God for his presence and his anointing upon me. Why? Because I want to be with him. The end of, I love that, the end, it's in this passage, Micah 2.13, the breaker anointing with the Lord at their head. All throughout scripture, that's the greatest, that the Lord would be with us, that I would be with him. My greatest desire, that's why I want to break through. That's why I want to push through, so that I could be with him forever. And I could feel him now as palpable presence. I could be with him closer and closer and, and not just live distant and not just live my own life, but do what he wants me to do and, and walk that walk, not just talk the talk. That's why breakthrough prayer is uh, essential and important sometimes. So that's a different video for you, but that is... A, a, a trick <laughs> it's a trick like if you're struggling with something or things i've had to work through or want freedom of i pray and i press in and ask god like free me help me deliver me and not quit and obviously there's many other things that will help um that have helped me even community accountability friends family so many different things counselors etc but one key to unlocking that spot in in my heart has been breakthrough prayer. Asking God for breakthrough in my heart. Expanding my capacity. Yeah. Out.